G'day everybody and welcome to another YouTube video. Uh, he's finally arrived, as you can see here we have the SDCC exclusive uh, Wolverine figure. Now this is the Wolverine figure that has the retractable claws, uh, a feature that would be uh, probably impossible when the Mighty Mugs first came out, but the lovely people at Hasbro kept working hard and uh, have made a superb advancement in the world of mugs, I suppose you could say. So like all good Mighty Mug quick reviews, we'll start off with the box. So as you see, it's a normal Mighty Mug box. A little bit different though, and we actually have the word Wolverine written in the stylized text uh, of the actual character, which is a nice touch. Then spinning around, we have these lovely slash marks uh, down the side of the box. So obviously uh, a Wolverine slash, you can tell by the three claws. Backed by a silver backing. That silver backing is just from a uh, sort of a glossy cardboard that's uh, surrounding the mug on the inside. And then we move around to the back and again you can see some more slash marks and then we have a, a detailed drawing of the Wolverine and I'll see if you can pick that up there. You can see we have one side with the claws out, the other side with no claws out and the little words there saying retractable claws and then moving around to the side of the box again another again the slash marks from his three claws. Top of the box, as usual, in the Mighty Mug fashion, is just a picture of his face. And then moving back to the front of the box. So let's move in on the Wolverine and have a look. So as you can see here, based on the movie, the Wolverine movie, so he has his uh, leather jacket, his uh, Aussie Bond singlet being an Aussie, Hugh Jackman. And we've got the belt buckle. A little disappointing in the belt buckle, it's just a gold belt buckle. There's no actual sort of emblems or anything placed on there. I thought they could have... Maybe bumped up that with a bit of a touch, maybe a bald eagle or something like that. Uh, and then we just have his jeans with his black boots down the bottom. Again, not too much detail in the actual costume that he's wearing. Uh, all the action is happening in his arms. Now you can see here on his arm we have a little black knob. And you can see the slit in which the knob pushes down. So when I push down on the knob, you can see the claws coming out. And that's basically how they come. It's not too stiff, which is a nice feature. Uh, it's not too loose either. You can actually, you know, move them back to have him with them just protruding out, or you can go all the way. So you can have both arms fully poseable, or you can just have the one or the other. So a really nice touch. This guy uh, here was really popular at the convention, uh, and uh, already on eBay he's fetching quite a high price for us poor people who couldn't get over to the convention and pick one up ourselves. But all in all, uh, a really good figure, a great addition uh, to any mug collector's collection, especially for the fact of the retractable claws. Uh, they've set a pretty high benchmark with those, so it'll be interesting to see where they take it uh, and what ca other characters they can apply that sort of effect to. All right, so thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. And uh, if you stay tuned, uh, I'll be bringing soon a review of the Clone Trooper Blaster game. I have done a review of the lightsaber game, so now it's time for the blaster game. So hang around for that one. So thanks for watching. Cheers.